welcome back to my channel. Here is the witch casket for November. Yes, we're still in November 2022. It arrived a couple of days ago. Um, so I know there's a few walkthroughs out there and uh, let's dive in and have a look and get my hands on the items inside. So you've seen the box many times in my videos. If you want to have a closer look at it, then you can probably pick up um, any from this playlist and see what's going on. So this witch casket is anti-anxiety magic. That's a good one for this time of year, isn't it? As we're all getting back to a kind of form of normal, um, lots of people have heightened anxiety at the moment. That's a nice piece of art there. And Deb and Ella have put in their little um, hello and thank you here. And they are already on to making their December casket, which is what they can think about right now. Um, so with that, I think the pre-orders are open for December. So if you wanted to order for December, you can get in there now if you order currently. Um, but I know they have a limited supply of these. So it's kind of they they open the order. You can join up and pre-order. And then um, obviously once they've sold out, they've sold out. So that one's there. And this is the um, booklet that tells you what's in the box. So I don't read that before I handle the goodies. Move it back a bit. So we have the artwork. Um, so we're into nice earthy muted tones. It's got that kind of cozy feels going on, hasn't it, for winter? And that's our exclusive there. So these are the bit, bits I use as tip-ins. And in fact, I think it was the October box um, with the black ones. I have Posca pens and I coloured out these words and things and actually gifted them on as... Um, I gave somebody some like some stationery and bits and bobs to use in their journaling and I gave that as a tip in um, so I think they work really well for that type of thing and then we have the anti vanishing spell powder kit or anxiety sorry vanishing spell powder kit so let's have a look at what's inside another gorgeous piece of art there that you can use um tippins cards or just into your magic books and there we have um how to do it and in here we have hearts ease for calm yarrow for confidence and st john's wort for courage so there we are three herbs and then we have the instructions on the bottom on what to do with this one so and the herbs are numbered one, two, and three, so you know what you've got in each little pot. Saves me trying to guess. We have a little book of anxiety magic. So this one's written by Deb. I've got a couple of these little books now. Candle spell to banish anxiety. So different types of things in here. We have bath rituals and fire bowls. Hello, Marjorie. We have calming incense blends, anti-anointing oils, some flower rituals, all some calming, some witch's brew, so some chamomile flowers, rose petals, green tea and moon water. Yep, I have all of those in my tea cupboard, so I might give that one a go, see how it calms the old stress levels. We have a stress-free home salt. And then, yeah, there's loads in there, lots, lots more, and there's even some space at the back. To note down your favourites and affirmations and you can refer to them and um, just another really nicely quite made it's got a sort of coating to it like a waxy feel um, another nice little book to add to the collection could probably create a little traveller's notebook full of them actually so what do we have here kitchen brew stir counterclockwise with intent and taste the following as i and say the following so as i stir my calming brew anxiety i banish you oh nice so it's got some lavender and chamomile in there. I'm not going to open it because that's loose leaf, so I need a pot to put that into. So that's some loose leaf tea there, so I can drop that into one of my caddies. Look at the pin. That's huge. That's a gorgeous pin. So it's metal. Silver, front and back. an idea of size that is quite big i mean that's a old 50 pence piece size if you know what that is 
or a two pound coin. So really quite a substantial looking pin and beautiful one. So you could always um, enchant that with some anti-anxiety thoughts and feelings and pop it onto your collar and wear it. And when you're feeling anxious, you could just give it a little press. That would probably work. I'll have it out and about with you. What's this then? I hold divine power. Which casket? I don't know if that's picking up on the camera or not, but as you can hear, it is metal. So it's a power talisman. Carry this amulet with you in times of stress to remind you of the divine power you hold. Again, another cute tip in, so you can blank that out and then use that one to write things up. That's quite nice. It comes in a little pouch. There's a couple in there, okay. This one looks like a bracelet. So there's the bag. What do you have here? Lava beads. And snowflake. Snowflake obsidian and lava stone bracelet. So for anyone who's not familiar with lava stone, if you are okay, so when you blend down your oils, your essential oils, you can't use the neat ones, but you blend them down into a carrier oil and you can um, put them onto these beads. They're slightly porous and it soaks in and then the scent just stays with you longer rather than putting it on your pulse points. You have it on your bracelet. So let's just see. It is big, it's massive. So I'm gonna need to doctor that. So it fits me. I don't know what size that is, but that's not five inches. <laughs> so that's very nice. Who doesn't like a stretchy bracelet? And then I see we have a third one. And this one is ah, okay. It's a spoon. It's a thumbstone. So when you're feeling anxious, these little thumb stones are designed to be slim enough to fit in your pocket and if you need tactility that kind of groove that's put in them is to fit your thumb and the idea is that you rub your thumb there when you're feeling anxious it gives you something firming to touch that's um, one of the main ideas behind thumb stones or calming stones stress stones anxiety stones and this one says hematite helps promote confidence self-esteem and strength during times of stress and anxiety and I did actually recently make a bracelet for um, Martin over at Martin's Musings and that had hematite stars on it and Dalmatian Jasper um, to help him because sometimes he suffers with anxiety. And that was one of the reasons behind that. So we have this one, a little box falling over here. So anti-anxiety oil blend. I wonder if it's... I'm not going to use this box again, so we can just tear it. So it comes with a sticker. Jasmine and chamomile, 100% pure essential oil blend. So it says 100%. It doesn't tell me if there's a carrier oil in there. So for that reason, I don't know. I'd probably mix it with a carrier oil, almond oil, sunflower oil, avocado oil, anything like that, um, coconut oil before I put it on the bracelet, because I wouldn't want to have burns from this. Oh, it smells gorgeous. That does smell nice. Mmm, that'll be nice in the oil burner as well. Giving off its aroma into the um, air. What do we have here? Scrub your tiled floors and doorsteps with this salt blend to keep stress away. A magical salt blend containing 100% ylang ylang, bergamot and lavender oils. A time-tested anti-anxiety blend from Deb's family book of shadows. That must be in that book. That must be the um, salt house salt scrub that we saw. And there we go. Little glass jar. Oops. See if we can... Oops. So the smell on that one's not quite so strong. I can't smell it as much as I can smell the um, other oil. But uh, 
jar lovers who doesn't love a jar i will put that one back in there just so i don't knock it over and lose the lid that's, that's rather lovely now we have a money box there's a little magic in everything i do marjorie she's had a very tough morning so far i haven't lit the fire she's complaining it opens i guess you could use this for anything couldn't you so you could use it for money you could put a little abundance charm on there wishes i've got the 13 days of yule coming up it would work for that let me just say i'm gonna have a little look a minute Achievements box, I'm guessing. In every achievement, no matter how big or small, there is magic. Note down your achievements and add them to this enchanting box. You can add affirmations or tiny things that make you feel good. On days when you're feeling stressed and your anxiety is threatening to overwhelm you, take your box, empty it and look through your notes. Okay, so it's like a positivity box. So you can use like a little positivity box and keep all those notes in there and then take them out and read them. Or, you know even memories couldn't you you could use it as memories and collect them over the year and have a look back and then this one says what it is an anti-anxiety candle okay. we have candle we have that's definitely camera mm, some amethyst chips so that is what that says here. Dress your candle with healing amethyst chips and calming chamomile. Light the candle and affirm. So I'd probably put my amethyst around the outside of my candle to create a grid and use my chamomile on the candle, I guess, and some around it for prettiness, aesthetic. And then there's a little thing to say there. And then we have it's 100% pure soy wax. Of course, never leave your burning candle unattended. Quite heavy, indented. I guess that was before it got to my box. That wouldn't have happened inside the box. And then we have just a nice big plane. So it's quite a big candle. It doesn't smell of anything at all. There is no scent on it. But um, even I could even drop some of this oil onto the top of the candle while it's burning to give it fragrance. Poke some holes in it. So many things. So many things I can do with that. And then. No incense today. I think we've got enough, though, to be fair. Excuse me, trying to reach for my bracelet. Then we have the scroll. Let's have a quick look at the scroll. I have to admit, I was umming and ahhing about keeping this subscription going, but um, this is lovely. I really like the items in this. So, anxiety incantations. So, nervous energy, let me be. I command my soul, be free. I live today with bravery. I focus on what's good for me. And then there's a little bit more to go with that, so I shan't give it all away. Um, and the sticker, Debonella, you're genius. Thank you. They are getting better, so much better. They don't rip the parchments when they come off. Um, <laughs> I think they probably got sick of me moaning about it to be quite honest but that's what i like to do this because i don't like to waste and i like to pop them onto the parchments okay before she takes off and starts i am going to leave you all be with the magic that is here in the witch's casket i'm going to wish you a very happy rest of november magical november and for the witch's casket i will see you with the december and we shall see if i manage to continue my subscription because as we know Pennies are getting tight. But take care. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.